Today we're gonna make chewy white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. It is a thick, chewy brown sugar cookie that is packed with crunchy macadamia nuts and white chocolate chips for the perfect cookie. It is thick and chewy and like a little salty, sweet. It's just all together, it's just magnificent. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new and delicious recipe. Let's get into it. So, um, really simple here, guys. Just a basic creaming method cookie. I got myself some butter. It is not tempered because you know me and I, well, I, I just did it. So here we are. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in our stand mixer. Let me get that going. We are gonna hit it with a blowtorch, but we're gonna be mindful of the fact that a glass bowl is different than a metal bowl, and it takes longer to heat up, and also takes longer to cool it down. So you wanna be very careful with, you know, how much heat you apply. Fun facts, huh? Full of knowledge this morning. So, hit it. Keep it moving. Do not. Let it sit in one place so it will melt. Stop it. Turn this up. That speed of friction do most of the work. We'll turn it down for this amount. So, just like our chewy chocolate chip cookies, right? We want this to be softened, but still cold, but pliable. So cold and pliable, okay? So we're not taking this to like a super luxuriously silky, melty place. Not melty, but you know, room temperature place, right? We're taking this to a, you know, cold but pliable with no lumps and bumps. I am loving the texture of this. There are a few little lumps in there, so I'm gonna let it give it, I'm gonna give it one more twirl about, uh, and then she'll be good. Cool, she good. All right, before we proceed with that, we are going to whisk together our dry ingredients. Now, this is AP flour, cool. Baking soda, yes, my friends, and kosher salt. Boom. Now, I've reduced, when I'm making this right now, I've reduced the amount of salt that's in the recipe because I have dry roasted um, macadamia nuts. So I will put the adjustments that are necessary in the recipe on my blog, cheflindsaybar.com, um, so that you can also do the same. Because sometimes all that's available is dry roasted. Or you want to snack on that, and that's a choice that I am 100% behind. Great, we've done it. We've whisked together our dry ingredients. We've placed them to the side. We've thought about the fact that we have pre-toasted our macadamia nuts and we're gonna take a cup of those. They're like, you know, they're kind of in halves. If yours are like 100% perfectly full and like whole and huge, you might wanna give them a quick chop just so every cookie gets its fair shape. These have cooled, very important to note. We're ready guys, we're ready, ish because like, I didn't crack my eggs yet. Okay, so we've got granulated sugar, and then we have an epic, <laughs> yeah, an epic amount of light brown sugar. This is what makes it so good, guys. So good, okay? And now you know. It's like just enough sugar to make them spread and to keep them chewy, and it's just, I mean, whoa, yes. Okay, turn it on low. It's a lot of sugar for the amount of butter. That's intentional. It helps make them chewy. It's, it's part of the, the beauty of this. It's what uh, makes them spread the way that they do. So it's all about those ratios. And we're just gonna go ahead and scrape it down because our butter was all on the bowl. And this bowl in particular is, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't redistribute things. Now, there's so much sugar. It's not gonna cream in the same way that you might expect. What we're looking for is kind of like a pasty situation. Much like chocolate chip cookies, um, you want that that like paste. You want you want the a little bit of creaming to have happened, but not so much that they become like, you know, light and fluffy. Not that they're going to, because there's so much sugar, it's like not even possible. All right, you see how it's kind of like coming together? 
um, those like little pieces, they, they become like, you know, long strands. It's a, a paste essentially in here, look at this. You can see, I'll slow it down so you can see. So it's like a paste that's happening, phenomenal. Go ahead and drop in your first egg, boom. There you are, sir. Turn her up, beat her in. Drop in your next egg, and by next, I mean last. All right, so we're just gonna stomp this and scrape it down. So we've added both of our eggs, and we're just gonna add the vanilla now. It's a substantial amount of vanilla. It's really, you know, these are, these are wonderful cookies, and they are flavored at every step. Put that on. Go ahead and beat in your vanilla. No! You turn it down, pretend like you're a professional. Then turn it up. I'm gonna turn that down to, to medium low, to, or whatever your mixer wants to do today. And then go ahead and start to add uh, your dry ingredients. A bit at a time, you don't want to overwhelm it. Um, if you put too much in at one time, it's going to take too long to cut, to, to kind of incorporate. We're going to develop some gluten, and we don't want that. We want chewy, soft, just luscious cookies and not tough cookies, okay? So as you've almost, as almost all the flour has incorporated from the last batch, go ahead and plop some more in there. We'll give her a scrape here in a second. Just go ahead and keep on, keep it on. It's a decent amount of dry. Don't forget we had quite a lot of sugar, butter. Uh, you wanna make sure that they spread, but not into a pancake. Okay, let me just give this a quick scrape. Now, one more time about. Beautiful. Now we are gonna add all of our accoutrements, macadamia nuts, white chocolate chips, <laughs> as per the title, and then just mix them in. You know, mix them in really well. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape some of this off of my paddle so that maybe it will incorporate by itself and I won't have to do it. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. It's all about the mix-ins here. All about the mix-ins. So, good. Take her down. You know, if you, you can have more if you want. No one's saying you cannot. Now, we do need to chill this. It is a chewy cookie. And as per use with chewy cookies, we're gonna need to chill. So that's gonna give us the best recipe for success. And that's what we're about here at CLF. So, yeah. Grab yourself a piece of parchment, scoop on. Now I'm gonna scoop them with a cookie scoop. Disher, portioner, doesn't matter, whatever you wanna call it. All right, guys, this is great. I love it, I'm so excited. It's like one of those sneaky cookies, you know? that like maybe you only get it Subway for some reason. Maybe that's just me. But whenever I go to Subway, I'm like, I'm gonna get a vegetarian sandwich and then I'm gonna get two cookies. <laughs> so it's fine. Cookie scoop or your hand. I'm gonna make them a little bit rounded because I actually, again, as I said, wow, that's a big cookie. Maybe I won't make them rounded. I was thinking that I did and then I'm like, well, okay. Okay, guys. So we are gonna have to bake these on multiple trays, but for the sake of refrigeration, this and the, and my, the space in my refrigerator, this is what we're doing right now. Um, and then we'll spread them out because they do actually spread quite significantly as they should. Come on, you can do it. There we go. We did it. All right. Now we're gonna cover this with plastic wrap. You're like, are you gonna leave it like that? And I'm like, no, I'm not, fine. I'm gonna give them a little roll. You could do this after they come out um, of the fridge. Doesn't really matter. They're actually really lovely consistency right now. If you want them to be perfect, then you will have to do this again after they come out. All right. So we're gonna give this a quick cover here with oh, plastic wrap. We are going to give it a nice chill. Probably, I mean, two hours would be best. Um, so we'll see how, 
how long we have patience for but um, about two hours is good. You want them to be nice and firm. You want to give them the best chance of success in the oven so that they spread but still stay nice and chewy and large and like, you know, just thick in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the fridge and then we'll check back. And they're out. So they baked about 10 minutes. Um, the one on the bottom rack baked about a minute more. Um, but you can see, so the convection fan is kind of what you know, got our little our little chocolate chips a little roasty toasty. Um, all that did is caramelize them, which adds flavor. But if you don't want to do that, then don't put any on top, um, and then they'll they'll turn out more, you know, kind of blonde. Um, but all we need to do is let them cool. So you can see that they've kind of they rose, they puffed, they cracked, they you know set on the edges. They looked matte in the center, um, and then. All we have to do is let them cool now. And they're cool. And we are ready to, like beyond ready to try them. So without further ado, it's time to try. All right, real chubs. Part of me feels like I should break it before I buy it. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you see in there? It is thick and chewy. It's perfectly baked. It's not under baked or anything. It's just, perfection like you see the crumb is beautifully set um i did bang my pan a little bit uh which is going to compress the cr crumb uh but you don't have to do that i just wanted them to be a little flatter and some of them complied and some of them didn't <laughs> it's fine mm. oh my gosh you know, sometimes you like forget how good a cookie is and then you have it again for, and you're like, oh, you're the bomb. It just happened. Oh, phenomenal. That brown sugar cookie is just perfectly sweet and it's chewy and like a little crunchy on the outside and on the bottom where it's nice and golden brown. You get the crunch of the macadamia nuts and then the soft chocolate chips, which are still obviously a little warm from the oven, so they're melty. Oh my goodness. This is a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie. It is perfection. Thick, chewy, perfection. Mm. I cannot. I cannot.